Hey, Brady, really excited to share some information uh, that's really going to change the course of my coaching going forward uh, and really change the course of what uh, Little Linksters, in terms of our uh, group instruction, what we do going forward. Uh, I've had some great conversations over the course of the past week to two weeks uh, with some folks I really respect within the industry. And it's got me thinking about some information that I already knew, uh, but just really didn't implement. And I think there's a lot of coaches out there that are inundated with, with information, good information, and don't uh, access that information, implement that information to the best of their abilities. And I've, I've done that. I've, I've fallen short in how, how I put together my coaching plans and coaching programs. And Little Linksters has done that too, unfortunately, uh, at times in the past, uh, during the course of our 11 years that we've been uh, in existence, where uh, we could have done things better, which has always been our goal, is to do things to the very, very best of our ability. Uh, and I've tried to incorporate uh, one of the things that I'm wanting to share with you today in the past, but really haven't done so in a manner that is going to be something that sticks and is long range and everything comes back to the kids that we teach whether it's in our grow and goals programs with little linksters or me personally as a coach and my private lesson instruction so let me get to the point because i get long-winded sometimes when i when i talk about some things but i've i've had some discussions recently in the last couple of days after doing a little bit of research with the folks at iconic golf a new partner with the PGA of America, an amazing digital platform. And as I said, I've used uh, some digital technology in the past and I love it. You know, I've used Coach Now uh, for several years now, fantastic platform. Uh, but Iconic Golf is just a little bit different than Coach Now. I'm probably going to still use uh, Coach Now, but Iconic really is an all encompassing uh, digital platform that's going to really transform the way that I coach personally and, and privately in my private instruction and the way Little Linksters uh, teaches kids in our group goals, goals and grow program. It, it's all based on how uh, the learning process has changed over the course of the last decade or so and how everything is really shifting more towards e-learning, uh, digital learning uh, and how blended learning, which is the, the, the combination of the digital e-learning type scenarios with that one-on-one -on -one with the coach uh, for an hour or two hours or, or whatever the case may be, and helping students learn in a manner that a lot of kids are more geared to in today's day and age. So I'm super, super excited about partnering with Iconic. I'm doing some training right now. Um, after I get done with the training, we're gonna build out the platform uh, and it's really going to be way more conducive to success for, uh, for me as the coach, success for my students, which ultimately the success of my individual students and the individual kids that take part in our Little Linksters Grow and Goals programs, that's what makes our organization and myself as an instructor, as a coach, more successful. It always comes back to the student. Um, so how is this gonna work? It's really not gonna change too much on the content that we deliver. It's gonna be the amount of content, the amount of content that we deliver and how it's delivered. That's probably the more important thing in my mind is is how how it's delivered and how much more accessible it will be to our students. The flow of private lessons will change a little bit. Uh, we'll do testing first, and this is gonna start pretty quickly with the, my current students and any new students that come along for private instruction. Um, it's uh, This is the way we're gonna do things going forward. We'll have some assessments and testing at the beginning. We will save that data. I'll introduce the proper uh, techniques, movements, uh, whether it's putting, chipping, pitching, bunker, full swing, from wedge 
all the way up through the driver. Uh, it can be areas of player player development in terms of how you play the course. Uh, it can be mental aspects, a lot of different things. So I'll test, we'll have that information, we'll save that information. I'll present the context of uh, making changes if changes are necessary. In most cases, there will be changes that will be necessary. Everybody's going to have their good and bad points to whatever particular uh, thing we're looking at, whether it be putting, pitching, full swing, whatever. Uh, so we'll work through that. Uh, as after I introduce the instruction, we will work towards comprehension. And this is something current students of mine understand that I want them to be students of the game. I want them to comprehend and understand what we're working on uh, because I'm not always going to be around. And in a lot of cases, mom and dad may not understand uh, the concepts. They may not have even been at the lesson with us. Uh, so they may not know uh, what has been presented during the course of the lessons. The good thing too with this icon with iconic golf and this digital platform is all the information, extensive library of information will be there to refer back to, and you don't have to memorize it during that one on one time. Uh, so we will assess and test, introduce the instruction, work towards comprehension. That's going to be really on the student at that point, but everything's going to be there in the library uh, in, in the information. Uh, that they can access through this digital platform. Then we'll review for accuracy, make sure that they have it, understand it. May not necessarily be doing it correctly because that takes time and that takes practice and there's no shortcuts to that. Uh, and then the fifth step is gonna be practice towards mastery, what I just said. There's no shortcut to the practice portion and working hard. And then we'll reevaluate. So we'll go through this whole process, five steps, then we'll reevaluate, retest, and see where you stand from where you started when we did the preliminary testing uh, and benchmarking, and where you are after we go through the process of learning uh, the new moves or concepts that we're working on. So I'm super, super excited about this. Um, and this is more you're gonna you're gonna hear about this more as as we move forward. But I just wanted to share this with everybody. Uh, looking forward to seeing you soon. Thanks so much.